How's it going everyone? This is Z Hidalgo Kids with Upland Central. We just wanted to give you a tutorial video on how to start playing the game Upland. So here we see our explorer. Our explorer is our avatar that shows you your collections, shows you the status of what type of explorer you are. You're either a visitor or you are a uplander depending on how much Upix net worth you have. You see this number here that shows you the amount of unminted properties, which are unsold properties that you can buy around you. And by the colors, light blue shows you that it's owned by another explorer or dark green showing you that it is a property that is being sold. So here we see a property that is unsold, but you are unable to buy it because your explorer is currently not within that area. Now that my explorer has touched the area or it's in the explorer's range, you are able to click on the property and then you're able to potentially buy it. Now that you've clicked the unminted property, you have several buttons that you could choose from. There's a buy button for the unminted sale price. There is a street button that allows you to see either the street view or within the property from Google Maps. There's a treasure button that won't allow you to see treasure hunts because treasure hunts are only on minted properties, sold properties or owned properties. And then you also have the more button that shows you how much monthly earnings and or boosted earnings that you you could get from this property if you were to hold it or buy it. So if I were to try to buy this property, it would ask me if I wanted to confirm buying this property for this amount of Upex. If I were to click the check mark, I would be minting it on the EOS blockchain and it will be under my portfolio of properties that we own. If we were to click on the dark green property, which is being sold, you could see how much it's being sold for and who's selling it. You could also click more to show you what the potential monthly earnings are and what the potential boosted earnings are. There is also an offer button. If you were to click this, you could offer either a different amount of Upex for the property or you could offer one of your properties to try to trade. Now if I went to a highlighted dark blue property, this indicates it is one of my properties. I could click on the property and I could see that I'm the owner. This is how much I purchased this property for. And this is how much monthly earnings I am receiving. Since I'm the owner, I have the potential to sell this property. I own the property title for this property. I could also check it on the blockchain if I wanted to, to see the actual transaction. Since I'm the property owner, I also have the ability to sell my property for Upix. We'll try to set my property for sale for 20,000 Upex. You'll see underneath it, this is how much I'll get in the property sale. There is a sales tax on the property, which goes to the Upland team to continue to develop the game. Now that I set my property for sale, I could click on this button, offer for sale and I just confirm that I'm selling this and I'll receive this amount in return if it were to sell. And now it's going to mint it on the blockchain that this property is up for sale. We'll see here that the button changes from selling to on sale and then it will show the price of how much we are selling it. Now that we've seen our Explorer and the properties around us, We'll go into the functionalities of the buttons within the game. Directly above us, 
we see how much Upix we currently own. On the top left, we have the icon of our Explorer, which will show us our profile. This button here will allow you to edit your Explorer. You could change the background color, or you could change your Uplander avatar. The profile also shows you the player status. Currently, I am an Uplander. If you were to click on this button here, it will show you the difference between an Uplander and a visitor. For a lot of the new people, they are a visitor. And the only way to receive Uplander status is to have a net worth of 10,000 Upix or more. Underneath your Uplander status is the, is the referral program. If you click the button, you're able to see your link. If they were to use your link, you are able to split early rewards on the Explorer's first purchase. Right under the referral program, we go on to our net worth. The net worth is a combination of your total Upix, your properties, and your visitor earnings. Underneath that, you show the total number of properties you own and the amount of collections that you currently have. Down below are the collection medallions. And as you can see, the amount that you could collect up to is 21 collections. Now onto the property tab. If you were to click the property tab, you could show all your properties that you have in your portfolio. Unfortunately, right now there is no sort button, but hopefully in the future they will have it. If you were to click on the property, it will show you where the property is. But once you click the X, it will bring you back to where you were. This button on the bottom left hand side, this button allows you to go to your current location of your Explorer. If I were to zoom out and go take a look at other properties far away, to get back to my Explorer, all I would have to do is press this button and it'll bring me back to my Explorer. Next, we have the three dots in the middle, which is the quick menu. The first button is the properties tab. Similar to the Explorers tab, this property tab shows you the specifics of your portfolio. This is my total net worth. This is how much Upix I currently own. This is my property value for all the properties I'm holding. This is the amount of Upix I'm receiving per month. So if you were to divide it by 30, you could probably get how much you're receiving per day. This is the amount of completed collections that I have. And if I were to go down below, this is also a list of all my properties, which shows the location, the price that I bought it at, and the amount of Upix I'm earning per month. Back to the quick menu, the next tab is the collections tab. The collection tab is the tab where you can see all the collections that you can collect. You could see the reward you could receive if you collect that collection, and you could see the extra boost in the amount of Upix per month if you have properties for this collection. Here we see that it's collected and it's currently active. These dots right here show that I have three properties in this collection to activate this boost. Currently I have three properties in my collection to activate the boost. What I'm going to do is take off my properties and it'll give you this warning. If I were to take off a property, I'll lose the boost, which is okay. Now that I don't have any properties to activate this collection, if I were to go down my properties on the very top, it will show you matching properties that could fit the collection. And then it also show you the rest of your properties below. Now, if I were to not have any properties, I could click this button to the right other properties 
and it'll do a reverse lookup of all the properties within this collection. So all these properties in here are properties that I could either buy or I could try to acquire to get this collection. The color on the left indicates that I could currently buy it if it's light green. If it is gray, that means I need to put my Explorer near it to try to buy it, but it is still unsold and unminted. If it's dark green, that means it's being sold or you can make an offer for it. If it's light blue, that means another Explorer owns the property and is minted. To activate a collection, all you would do is click edit collection, get the proper amount of properties to activate the collection. Once your properties activate the collection, the amount of Upix boosted per month will start. Now you want to make sure that you have the most expensive properties within your collection so that you get the highest boost of your Upix earned per month. We'll do another video on the collections that are currently offered in Upland. So we could go a little bit more in depth on each collection. Next on the quick menu, we have messages. These messages are either offers accepted or offers rejected. This messages tab shows either offers rejected or offers accepted. The next tab is the treasures tab where you can see treasure hunts and you can see if there are treasure hunts currently happening, just like right now. We see that there is a five minute cooldown. Once the cooldown has ended, the treasure hunt will start. I have another video on our YouTube page that goes a little bit in depth of treasure hunting and how to try to win treasure hunts. We can see that the purple is a limited treasure hunt and the orange is a exclusive treasure hunt. Limited treasure hunts happen around maybe 20 to 30 minutes. Exclusive treasure hunts happen about every hour. Now that treasure hunts have been updated, it happens every one to maybe two hours. Lastly, at the bottom, there's a practice tab where if you click on it, there are practice pinatas where you pay 10 to 20 Upix so that you could practice clicking on the pinata if you were to find this type of treasure during treasure hunts. Next, we have the history button on the right. It will show you the history of who won the treasure, where the treasure location was, how long ago the treasure was found, and then how long the treasure once activated to find. Next, we have a new leaders tab. There are different categories that show the leaders of each category. The first one is visitors, which is how many times another explorer jumped to one of your properties. Collections completed is who completed a collection that day. Uplanders referred on using your referral link. Treasures claimed gives you a history of who or how many Treasures claimed shows you who collected the most treasures in that day. You could also sort by week, month, and all time. Total Upix proceeds, which we'll visit a little later. And amount of trades, trades between explorers. Next is challenges tab. These challenges will pop up hosted by the Upland team. Here on the right, we show the different winners of those hosted challenges. Fortunately, we were able to win the first challenge, which was the visits challenge. And recently we had the curator challenge. Hilton won the burglars, 
part of the challenge and thank me later won the curators portion of the challenge. Next we also have the profile tab exactly the same as if we were to click this tab up here on the top left. Next we have the Epic Store tab. On the desktop it allows you to buy from $5 all the way up to $3,000. On mobile you're able to buy from $5 to $100. Lastly on the quick menu you have your settings. You can go down your profile again, your authentication, you can log out. You could have your referral code. You could start a quick tutorial created by the Upland team. There is a feedback tab, a support tab if there were to have any errors, terms of use, and the privacy policy. Now on the right side, if you click the bottom button, it is a search tab. You could type in the address. and click on the property and then it'll take you to the property either the exact property or around the area where that, those properties should be if you were to go to the property you could see if the property is unminted or minted now back to our explorer the next button on the right is properties that are for sale Depending on your screen view, it will show you the properties that are for sale in that area. If I were to zoom out and show a bigger area and click this properties nearby button, it will show me a wider range of properties for sale. This button towards the middle, if you were to toggle on this button, it allows you to see places of interest and also the names of the counties within San Francisco city. And you could see the areas that are potentially in the collection. For example, Russian Hill, it is a collection right here. Any properties bought within this area of Russian Hill will be considered for the collections with the ability to activate the boost in that collection. Lastly, these two tabs. The top tab is the store Upix tab again. And underneath the Upix store tab is the earnings tab, which shows you how much you're earning per property. And it also shows you if a person jumped to your property and the amount of fees that you're receiving for that explorer jumping to your property. This button refreshes every three hours. You could either collect it or let it grow depending on what you want. I could either collect it individually or I could just click this button collect all earnings and it'll add it to my Upix. And then we'll see the countdown clock of the three hour countdown. Other items that you can see in game are these paper airplanes. If you were to click on one that is within your explorer's area, if your explorer is close to one of these paper airplanes, you're allowed to collect what is called a send. So if we were to click this paper airplane, we see that we collected two sends. And by send, we mean being able to jump to another minted property. For example, if I were to click on this property and I were to click send, it'll show me how many sends I have left and if I want to go to at that actual location. When you see another person's property, you could see how much the fee is to jump to this property. The property owner could set the fee from either between 20 Upix to 100 Upix. And then you could also see when another explorer jumped to this property, the max amount of sends you could hold 
is 11 and the max you could collect per day which has been updated is 40 cents previously it was 25 cents but this can be updated by the upland team now that you understand some of the functionality of the gameplay go out and explore take a look at the different areas take a look at the different collections um, see the unique properties out there now take a look at their price and to see if they're actually able to be sold or not when you toggle on areas of interest icons may appear on some properties these either may coincide with properties that are in collections or past events. The Upland team may use the printed names on the map, but they won't have any significance until the Upland team utilizes it. Similar to this cathedral right here, this was the last tier 5 egg for the JFK airport competition. Also go out and go try out some treasure hunts and also try out some challenges that the Upland team has sponsored. Lastly, take a look at their official Discord channel, their Twitter channel, or their Telegram channel. There are also other fan-made Discord servers or fan-made Telegram groups. Fortunately, Upland Central was able to win the bonus event after the curator event finished, and we were able to find a prototype Thanos gauntlet in the famous cartoon museum in the aquatic park area. Hope you liked the tutorial. Leave a comment down below on any other content you'd like us to cover in the game Upland. Also like any of our other videos, if this video hits 25 likes, we'll raffle off a property that anyone could trade up any of their properties for so that they could continue to grow in the game Upland. All you have to do is leave a comment down below with your explorer name. We are Upland Central, a community fan base group who love the game and just want to grow the Upland community. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day. Bye.